recently I've been learning about the book of Job. Uh-huh. And um, in the beginning, God has a conversation with uh, Satan. Yes. And they have a, basically a bet to right. like test Job mm-hmm. and see if he his faith is strong enough. Mm-hmm. And I was wondering, like, like, why would God, like, really acknowledge uh, Satan's Satan's uh, bet right there, just to like prove a point or something? And like, because he knows that Satan isn't really going to change at all. So why would he even address that? Well, it's not just for Satan's benefit. It's not for Satan's benefit at all. It's for our benefit and Job's benefit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Job is thought to be the oldest book in the Bible, actually, probably written even before Moses wrote the Pentateuch. And um, the Bible's written from an observational perspective. Mm -hmm. So when it says that, you know, they had a bet or whatever, uh, do you think God didn't know the outcome of that bet? Well, yeah, he he knew. Of course he did. He knows everything. Yeah, it's just like when Moses goes to convince God not to wipe out the Israelites after they worship the golden calf or, you know, or... May have been after the numbers, the book of numbers, a little bit later. And uh, it's like God gets new information and goes, okay, I won't kill him. Right? Mm-hmm. That's written from an observational perspective. God always knew that Moses would come and pray. Mm-hmm. Um, so, is the question regarding Job, is it, are, are, you, are you advancing some sort of moral problem with this? Or well, what's the. I'm also thinking about like just interactions between Satan and God, uh-huh, uh-huh. and like also with. Like Jesus in the desert when he's when he's asked questions by uh-huh. yeah. by Satan and yeah. like just why does he give him time like that to well it's for our benefit mm-hmm. right when we're when we're supposed to go up against Satan we're supposed to do exactly what Jesus did what did Jesus do he mm-hmm. quoted scripture properly Satan tried to take it out of context Jesus quoted it properly and he prayed and we're supposed to use those same weapons prayer and the word of God to fend off temptation. Mm-hmm. So, and if you notice what's going on today, it's been going on forever. People weaponize uh, our values against us. So they say, aren't you for love? Aren't you for equality? Aren't you for justice? Yeah, we're, we're for all those things when they're defined properly. But mm-hmm. these are defined just a little bit off. Love now means either same-sex relationships or I'm going to try and transition my seven-year-old. That's supposed to be love, according to them, when in fact that's not love at all. Mm -hmm. Or um, we're all for equality, but now people want equity. They're changing it to equity. We we all believe in equality of of opportunity, but equality of outcome? You're not even going to have equality of outcome in heaven. What does Jesus say to the... uh, uh, in the t- parable of the talents to the guy that hid his talent. I'm taken from you and given to the guy who actually did something with his talents. That's justice. That's not equity. Mm-hmm. So um, what people try and do is they try and take the values of the Bible, distort them slightly, and try and get us to swallow them. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what was going on with Jesus or with Satan and Jesus in the wilderness. Mm-hmm. Take what... God had said, distort it slightly, try and get Jesus to bite, and he didn't Mm -hmm. because he was in tune with the word, in tune with God through prayer, and that's what we have to be as well. Mm -hmm. All right? All right. Thank you. All right, thanks.